Mexican enemy that you saw yesterday, it was made in an engine. It was. It is a dangerous foe, and it can potentially kill you. Of course, death is temporary and comical, but it does have the chance of uh, taking you out, so it is effectively an enemy. Don't really want to comment on any evil sack boys, so to speak, but uh, in effect, you will see everything made in the game. But I don't think that they'll all necessarily be just like that. I mean, have you seen two levels that really look similar so far in the game? Creativity is unlimited in this game. There are going to be several forms of death. We aren't really going into much detail on them at this point in time. We just showed squishing and uh, fire or hot surfaces uh, here at CES, but we will be uh, going into more details on additional forms of death later on. We are looking to still do a demo. It'll be a derivative of a public beta. It'll, we're going to have to run a public beta. It's an online title. We want to get you guys as involved as possible. That will obviously come prior to launch and it has to come far enough ahead to uh, be able to implement change and fix things so you guys can figure out about when that's going to be coming. That will be where we're going to get a lot of our things ironed out and that's where we're also going to get uh, some of the content that will be online when we launch the title. None of the, the user created levels from the beta will be on the disk but they will be populating the server so there's something else to do when you go online day one. The levels are going to vary a great deal. I mean we have a few levels right now that are one room. You drop onto a conveyor belt, stuff falls on it, and there's there's helpful things and there's painful things, and you have to avoid them, and there's no no uh, no re, uh, resurrection on that one. So how many things can you pick up before you die? So that's a true bite-sized level, and then we've got longer levels as well. We haven't nailed down exactly how far we're going to go, but you can expect very bite-sized pieces. We're probably going to see 5, 10, maybe 15-minute levels. Don't want to delve too deep into uh, playing through something like that. You've got waypoints that you pass through there, a wooden circle that lights up as you pass it. Once you've done that, if you die for some you know, comedy deaths in some way, you'll respawn at the nearest waypoint, assuming the waypoint's on screen. If you're with three or four people, they get to keep going without you until you hit the next waypoint, and then you'll all spawn. Anyone who died will spawn out of there. If everyone dies, you all respawn back at the last waypoint. There will be some narrative about it, yes. We have to tie some things together. Um, we aren't talking about the home integration yet until home is released or, you know, got to get a little bit closer to everything coming together before we delve into the features. But it'd be safe to say there is going to be some sort of home integration with Little Big Planet. I think the entire game community is really looking forward to home and, and we're all chomping at the bit to be able to get our home integration in there. It's a creative game. There are tools to make levels. The entire gaming community is rabid about this title. Everybody kind of gets it and is, is really having some fun with it. So we're going to be talking with a few other developers and see if we can pull something off and maybe we can get somebody from you know the, the Ratchet and Clank team to make a level or something like that. But Play, Create, Share coming this fall, global release on Blu-ray.